We all know how important the heart is for our health. The same goes for the brain. While it is true that the heart and brain work hard around the clock for us, they are not the only ones. Kidneys are often taken for granted, maybe since there are two of those. But when these tiny workhorses don't function properly, the entire system of the body could get compromised, and keeping your blood pressure normal would be the least of your worries. In this video, we're going to look at chronic kidney disease, one of the five delicious foods that are tailor-made for someone with kidney disease. So what is chronic kidney disease? Kidneys, as you must know, are the natural filtration plants of our body, and they filter waste and toxins from the blood, but we haven't scratched even the surface of it yet. Not just waste, kidneys also remove excess fluids, salts, and acids from the blood, keeping the blood pH at an optimal level. They also release hormones that regulate blood pressure. Finally, they even contribute to the production of red blood cells. How they perform all of these tasks with such a small size is nothing short of a miracle. Kidneys have what is called nephrons, a million of them. These nephrons are the functioning units of the kidneys. That consist of a filtering unit of tiny blood vessels. The blood enters these tiny blood vessels and gets filtered. The filtrate, consisting of waste products, then enters the tubule, where either the excess fluid is reabsorbed into the bloodstream, or chemicals and fields are added to the filtrate to make it less stinging on removal from the body as urine. So the tiny blood vessels of the nephron play the most important part in kidney action, and that is also where things could go wrong. Chronic kidney disease is referred to as a condition where the kidney doesn't perform its job properly due to some kind of abnormality. Notice we said some kind of abnormality. This is because any number of reasons could be behind the obstruction in kidney action. Causes of Kidney Disease Diabetes and high blood pressure are the most common causes of kidney disease. Diabetes is characterized by less than normal production of insulin or insulin resistance where more insulin is required for blood sugar control. This results in an elevated blood sugar level that can damage many organs of the body, including the heart, eyes, blood vessels, nerves, and kidneys. High blood pressure or hypertension, on the other hand, is a condition where the blood pressure against the walls of blood vessels is significantly higher than normal, increasing the stress on the body, especially the heart. That is why high blood pressure is the leading cause of heart attacks, strokes, and also chronic kidney disease. Other than that, glomerul nephritis is another condition that can result in kidney disease. This condition causes inflammation of the tiny filtering units of the kidney, which can over time lead to loss of kidney function. Polycystic kidney disease is an example of inherited kidney disease. It is characterized by the formation of kidney cysts that enlarge over time and may cause damage to the kidney, and kidney failure is not out of the question too. In addition, kidney stones, urinary tract infections, congenital diseases, drugs, smoking, obesity, and exposure to toxins could all contribute to kidney damage. Risk Factors Although chronic kidney disease doesn't follow any set rules, some people are more likely to suffer from it than others. These include Elder population People suffering from diabetes and high blood pressure People with a family history of chronic kidney disease And people belonging to population groups with high rates of diabetes and high blood pressure like African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asians, and American Indians Symptoms and Diagnosis The worst case scenario associated with kidney disease is kidney failure. However, early detection of kidney disease could make all the difference. Some of the symptoms that may point toward a diseased kidney include constant tiredness and a lethargic feeling, poor appetite, trouble falling asleep, muscle cramps at night, swollen feet and ankles, puffiness around the eyes in the morning, dry itchy skin, frequent urination. Since these symptoms are general, a doctor will need to look at your medical and family history to further narrow things down. Finally, he'll need to perform further tests to confirm things. Three methods are usually employed to detect early kidney disease. These include ACR urine test, albumin to creatine ratio test check for albumin in the urine. Albumin is a protein that is normally not found in the urine, hence its presence is an indicator of kidney problems. Blood creatine test. The amount of creatine in blood is also an important metric to diagnose kidney disease. Creatine is a waste product in the blood, and too much of it means that the kidneys are not performing their job properly. Another surefire way of telling how bad your kidneys have gotten is to look at the glomerular filtration test. It is calculated by looking at the results of urine and blood tests and also at some other factors like age and gender. The results of GFR indicate the level of kidney function, and so it can also determine the stage of kidney disease, how to deal with chronic kidney disease. We have talked about what chronic kidney disease is, what are some of its causes, and how it can be diagnosed but we haven't touched on the subject of how you can go about treating chronic kidney disease should you encounter it. Unfortunately, there are often no cures for chronic kidney disease. However, there are ways to manage the symptoms and prevent things from escalating to kidney failure. 
The diet plays an important role in controlling chronic kidney disease. People suffering from CKD should not follow a normal diet like other people. It is generally recommended for people with kidney disease to cut off certain compounds and nutrients from their diet like sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Similarly, proteins also need to be restricted, provided you are not one of the unfortunate souls with end-stage renal disease who's on dialysis, since they actually need more protein in their diet. There are many such foods out there that have very low sodium, potassium, and phosphorus contents, and thus are perfect for kidney disease patients. These foods can not only keep the chronic kidney disease symptoms in check, but also can prevent the condition from worsening. Let's look at the five delicious foods that can help you in your fight against chronic kidney disease. Number one, blueberries. Who said you couldn't relish the joy of food with chronic kidney disease? Blueberries are not just brilliant in their colors, they are also packed with nutrients and antioxidants. The antioxidant compounds found in blueberries are called anthocyanins. These compounds have been found to protect against heart disease, certain cancers, diabetes, and cognitive decline. The good news is that despite their diet restrictions, people with chronic kidney disease can enjoy all of these benefits of blueberries without worrying about their kidneys, since they are very low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. A cup of these magical berries contains just 1.5 grams of sodium, 114 grams of potassium, and 18 grams of phosphorus. Number 2. Red Grapes Red grapes are as delicious and nutritious as fruits can get. In addition to being a great source of vitamin C, they are loaded with antioxidant compounds called flavonoids, which have been shown to reduce inflammation. One such flavonoid called resveratrol is abundantly found in red grapes, and it can benefit heart health and provide protection from diabetes. Enough of the health facts. What's in it for a person with chronic kidney disease? For starters, they get to enjoy the awesomeness of red grapes and with no apparent danger of aggravating their condition. Since red grapes contain only trace amounts of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, a half cup of red grapes contains 1.5 milligrams of sodium, 144 milligrams of potassium, and 15 milligrams of phosphorus. Number 3. Garlic You might be wondering what should people with chronic kidney disease do about seasoning if they're to cut off salts from their diet. Garlic is a delicious and healthy alternative to salt that can enhance the taste and flavor of your dishes. In addition, it is also a great source of magnesium, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. As for its kidney-friendly nature, three cloves of garlic, which amounts to around 9 grams, contains 1.5 milligrams of sodium, 36 milligrams of potassium, and 14 milligrams of phosphorus. Number 4. Olive Oil Any discussion on healthy fats is incomplete without the mention of olive oil. Most of the fat in olive oil is oleic acid, which is a monounsaturated fat with anti-inflammatory properties. However, what makes it so attractive to people with CKD is that it is phosphorus-free and has next to nothing of sodium and potassium. One tablespoon of olive oil contains 0.3 milligrams of sodium, 0.1 milligram of potassium, and no phosphorus. Often, people with advanced kidney disease cannot keep their weight on, so consumption of high-calorie foods becomes important. That's where olive oil can lend a helping hand, being a healthy source of fat and being very low in sodium and potassium. Number 5. Cabbage Hailing from the cruciferous vegetable family, cabbage doesn't need any introductions when it comes to its nutritional value. It is loaded with vitamins, minerals, and powerful plant compounds, not to mention its exceptionally high content of insoluble fiber, which adds bulk to the stool and keeps you out of trouble in the washroom. For people with chronic kidney disease, cabbage is truly a gift from heaven, being extremely low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus contents. With one cup of cabbage containing 13 milligrams of sodium and 119 milligrams of potassium and 18 milligrams of phosphorus. Finally, to summarize, kidneys perform the tasks of filtering the waste, harmful materials, and fluids from the body. When the kidneys cannot perform this crucial task properly due to any abnormality, then it is termed chronic kidney disease. There can be many reasons and causes of this obstruction in kidney function. The most common causes of chronic kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure. Other than these, chronic kidney disease could also develop from inherited diseases, including polycystic kidney disease. Other common causes include kidney stones, urinary tract infections, congenital diseases, drugs, and smoking. The most common symptoms associated with chronic kidney disease are constant tiredness and lethargy, poor appetite, muscle cramps at night, swollen feet and ankles, and frequent urination, among other things. To diagnose chronic kidney disease, the doctor may perform tests like the albumin to creatine ratio urine test and blood creatinine test, or they may look at your glomerular filtration rate. Although chronic kidney disease remains largely to be uncurable, certain foods that are low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus can help prevent the condition from worsening. 
and may help in dealing with the symptoms. These include blueberries, red grapes, garlic, olive oil, and cabbage, among many others. With that, we come to the end of our video. We hope that you benefited from this video. If you did, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Want to see more videos like this one? Please subscribe to our channel. Welcome to Wellness and press that bell icon as well so you never miss another video. We'll see you in another healthy video. Until then, take care.